The COVID-19 pandemic had led to a confusing time for many, and maybe even more so for students, parents, and teachers as they try to navigate through the new school year. I think the, uh, the biggest challenge was working with our teachers to ensure that they had what they needed to make this type of shift. They basically, in a few weeks, months, had to recreate what the educational process there looks like. They had very little time to be trained, though we tried to provide okay. as much access to them as possible. Uh, they had to think um, in very creative ways and stretch themselves like they have never been stretched before. This is going to be a very challenging school year, not only for the students, but for the teachers as well. But this year has been unbelievable because we came back two weeks before kids, we learned our Google Classroom, we learned our Google Meets, which for me, 35th year, jumping into something brand new, it's like I'm a first year teacher again. But you know what? Our goal is to do what is best for these kids. And like right now, some still don't have devices, and so we are navigating our way through that too. As far as virtual learning goes, the district said it did anticipate network capacity challenges and hoped to have all of the devices ready for students by early September. However, the delivery of more than 1,000 Chromebooks for the district students has been delayed. We found, refurbished, and put out about uh, 620 uh, laptops, and uh, we have on order about 1,500 uh, Chromebooks coming in. Uh, some of the lap stuff we had to re-image and redo uh, and put chrome on them but uh, but yeah we got we ended up putting we pieced up together where the plan was to at least get something for each family uh, out there and uh, you know once these other devices come in we'll be able to pull those back and give each kid each student their own device and and if they need internet hopefully we we can be able to do that as well too and then we do have an order of uh, my is coming in, uh, but again, those were delayed as well too with, every, with all the coronavirus, the shipping and everything else going out. Uh, so we're just waiting on those to get in to, to complete the uh, uh, transition to internet at home for these students that needed to be engaged in learning. Any option that involves students entering a physical space is certain to be loaded with hurdles from how to keep them six feet apart to making sure they are using hand sanitizer. In addition, classrooms must be adequately stocked with cleaning supplies. And the only way we're going to do that is to uh, let our parents or ensure our parents uh, that what we have in place is following the most, late, most uh, up to date and latest information. Uh, put out from TEA and CDC. We, what we, we, we're trying to make our parents and our students understand if we want them at school, we have to follow okay, these well, guidelines. Uh, we in uh, if, just like athletics, UIL put out uh, some of the same guidelines that they have to follow. If they want to play, then they need to follow the guidelines. And luckily, here at uh, Aransas Pass, our athletic department, our teachers, our principals have all been on board, and our students are doing a great job to this point. Uh, there's, there's a lot of things that are written behind the scenes, but the, the actual protocols that students follow that's going to keep them safe is, is to keep the distance and wear those masks. The district feels the metrics have been met to reopen its doors with safety protocols in place for students, parents, and teachers. So we were all kind of just pushed out of the boat, and we it was a sink or swim situation for us. but. Once we were able to start opening our lines of communication with our kids at home and with our parents, um, we definitely were able to get the ball rolling. And there hasn't been a stopping point for us as teachers as far as learning because things are constantly changing. We're constantly facing new issues and technology problems that we would have never have had to have dealt with before this pandemic happened. So it's definitely been a different type of teaching method that we've all learned to adopt. Aranda's Pass ISD desperately wants its kids back in class and know that returning to in-person learning is the best path moving forward. We are ready for them all to come back. 
Uh, we want them in our classrooms and um, we have things in place to ensure they're safe. We are constant, constantly monitoring and adjusting to ensure that everything is in place to keep them safe. Uh, and then our, stu our teachers then can take that learning uh, to the level that we all want and we can provide that support and encouragement that they need.